The 2018 Mercedes AMG S65 Merck began production of the full-size S-Class sedan in the early 70s, following the official adoption of the S-Class nomenclature. Previously dubbed the Sonderklass, or Special Class, this ultra-sleek opulence machine is currently at the halfway point of its sixth generation. Framed as Mercedes' flagship four-door and boasting the best that Merck can muster when it comes to style and equipment, a pair of high-horsepower variants from AMG occupies the top of the S-Class pyramid, including the S63 and even faster S65. Both iterations just got a mid-cycle update at the 2017 Shanghai Auto Show, with the S63 gaining a raft of changes affecting everything from the engine, to the transmission, to the AWD, to the styling. By comparison, the S65 is less new, but still hugely impressive. The party piece is under the hood, where the previous model's turbo 6.0-liter V12 engine remains intact, complemented by updates to the S65's exterior styling and kit. Meanwhile, the rest of the spec sheet goes unchanged, including the 7-speed automatic transmission, magic body control suspension, track-oriented AMG options, and tech-heavy safety features. The S65 with its high-torque 6.0-liter V12 biturbo engine remains the spearhead of the S-Class models, proclaims chairman of the managing board of Mercedes-AMG GmbH, Tobias Mowers. All told, the AMG S65 is an exercise in excess, with crazy fast speed potential and land-based luxury yacht style. Read on to see if the 2018 model year is worthy of retaining its special designation. Continue reading to learn more about the 2018 Mercedes AMG S65. Exterior 2017 model year Mercedes AMG S65 pictured on the left, 2018 model year Mercedes AMG S65 pictured on the right. Though it isn't a huge departure from the model that came before, the 2018 AMG S65 does bear a few obvious updates when placed next to the preceding model year. Mercedes says these were designed to underscore the superiority of the high-end 12-cylinder model, giving it a powerful, yet refined presence on the road. The biggest changes are in the fascia, where Merck installed brand new, multi-beam headlights incorporating LED lighting elements. These new units appear to be squarer and more compact than the headlights on the 2017 model year, and to my eye, don't have the same sort of refined shape you'd expect on a Mercedes. Rather, they appear to be a bit busy, creating a sense of bluntness to the front end that I would criticize as out of character for a flagship model. The biggest changes are in the fascia, where Merck installed brand new, multi-beam headlights incorporating LED lighting elements. Of course, that's nitpicking at the details, and the rest of the design looks in tune with how a 12-cylinder luxury sedan should look. Additional features include larger side intakes for improved cooling, a new front splitter designed to reduce front-end lift Mercedes likes to call it a jet wing, and more than a little high-gloss chrome trim on the grille and lower intake surrounds. Further chrome detailing can be found along the flanks and rear as well. Speaking of chrome, the lower side skirts get a three-dimensional high-gloss inlay application of the shiny metal, which is specifically designed to make the S-Class appear to sit lower to the ground, similar to a sports car. Filling the wheel wells with purpose are standard 20-inch wheels, boasting a lightweight forged construction. These rollers also get a design that's exclusive to the S65, with a ceramic mirror polish and 16 spokes that curl inwards in such a way as to catch the light and radiate to the center of the wheel hub. The lower side skirts get a three-dimensional high-gloss inlay application of shiny metal, which is specifically designed to make the S-Class appear to sit lower to the ground, similar to a sports car. Filling the wheel wells with purpose are standard 20-inch wheels. The wheels measure in at 8.5 inches wide in front and 9.5 inches wide in the rear. There's also a wheel bolt cover made from forged aluminum that's designed to look like a center lock normally found on racing vehicles. Along the edge of the rim is the obligatory AMG logo. In addition to the 16-spoke rollers seen here, Mercedes is also offering three additional forged wheel designs, all measuring in at the same 20 inches in diameter. Two of the designs are finished with a painted matte black color and high sheen rim flange. Moving to the rear, we find a new apron design and new tailpipe trim for the model-specific quad-square exhaust tips. 
A new lower diffuser insert is also in place, complete with a bit of polished garnish. Further customization options are offered via the AMG Performance Studio. Further customization options are offered via the AMG Performance Studio, which allows customers to add extra aesthetic enhancements like the night package, new wheel designs, and the carbon trim package. Finally, although Mercedes has yet to announce specifics, the 2018 AMG S65 should come in a wide variety of hues, most of them understated shades of white, black, and silver, with a metallic finish. A few colors ruby, blue, green, will also be offered, but won't shout with the same volume as Merck's lineup of AMG-tuned sports cars. Exterior Dimensions Note, figures given are for 2017 model year Mercedes AMG S65 sedan. Competing exterior. Audi S8, pictured on the left, BMW M760i X Drive pictured on the right. In this arena, your best bet for competition against the AMG S65 comes from Merck's neck of the woods, or more specifically, German makes like Audi and BMW. Let's start with Audi and more specifically, the S8 Plus. Based on the full-size four-door A8, the S8 is essentially a faster iteration designed for more spirited driving. The look is more or less the same as what you get elsewhere in the Audi lineup, with standout features including a large single-frame grille in the nose divided by horizontal slats and a polished four-ring badge. The headlights are squared and use LEDs for the main beam and daytime running lights, and LEDs are used for the taillights as well. Quad-rounded exhaust tips in back come surrounded in a carbon fiber frame, and 21-inch wheels are equipped as standard equipment. Next up is the Bavarian's entry in this segment, namely the M760i X-Drive sedan. This full-size also bears exterior styling quite similar to other entries in the BMW stable, incorporating a kidney grille in the fascia, which actively opens and closes for either enhanced cooling or greater aerodynamic efficiency, sporty lower intakes, a performance-oriented stance, and rakish profile. There are four squared-off exhaust tips in the rear, while the headlights get full LED illumination. Aero enhancements include an M-branded rear spoiler, while the exterior accents on the front intake, rocker panel, and rear trunk strip are all finished in cerium gray. The wheels are measured at 20 inches in diameter, with a unique 760M style. While I'm a pretty big fan of the old Merck AMG S65 styling, the new iteration doesn't quite have the same snap. The front end looks a bit too frumpy with the new headlight design, lacking the sleekness that was offered before. While I'm a pretty big fan of the old Merck AMG S65 styling, the new iteration doesn't quite have the same snap. The front end looks a bit too frumpy with the new headlight design, lacking the sleekness that was offered before. By contrast, the Audi looks like, well, like any other Audi. It's a handsome piece of design, that's for sure, but it doesn't quite have the presence required in a segment like this. That leaves the Bimmer as the standout winner when it comes to exterior aesthetics. The low and wide style works great for a fast full-size four-door, and will surely turn heads no matter where it goes. Exterior Dimensions Interior I'm not gonna lie, I'm a pretty big fan of Merck's interiors, and the updated AMG S65 is no exception. It mixes high-tech with high-class, finding the right balance for a modern luxury vehicle that doesn't overload the passengers with buttons to push and knobs to twist. The layout is horizontal and the upholstery is light, giving it a sense of airiness, lightness, and spaciousness. Heading the list of materials is Napa leather upholstery, which finds its way onto just about every surface in the cabin. What isn't leather is a combo of brushed metal, wood, or some other sort of soft-touch material. Further trim options include black poplar wood, burl walnut wood, designo metallized ash wood, and since it's an AMG model, the requisite carbon fiber doodads. Heading the list of materials is Napa leather upholstery, which finds its way onto just about every surface in the cabin. What isn't leather is a combo of brushed metal, wood, or some other sort of soft touch material. Complementing the look are embossed emblems on the armrest and center console, plus copious AMG badging. Front and center on the console is an analog clock with an IWC Ingeniate design, 3D milled metal hands, and metal appliques on the face, bringing the above-mounted touchscreen back down to Merck's roots. 
sit in the hot seat, and you'll be able to enjoy a three-spoke performance steering wheel with a flat bottom, side-mounted paddle shifters, a contoured rim, leather wrapping for the grips at 10 and 2, and a metal insert emblazoned with the AMG logo. Buyers can also option in a steering wheel finished in black Nappa leather and Dinamica microfiber, or wood and leather, if desired. Dominating the dash is an enormous TFT widescreen color display, measuring in at an impressive 31.2 cm and joined by another widescreen display in the side. This screen provides the driver with all the critical info, such as the current engine RPM, road speed, and more. Dominating the dash is an enormous TFT widescreen color display, measuring in at an impressive 31.2 cm this screen stretches across the dash, and can be programmed in a variety of different ways. For example, info can be displayed in an analog style similar to a traditional gauge cluster, which is offered as part of three separate display design settings, including classic, sport, and progressive. There's also exclusive AMG graphics, and the AMG menu was expanded to include stuff like engine oil temperature, transmission oil temperature, lateral and longitudinal accelerometer readings, engine output, torque output, boost pressure, tire temperature, tire pressure, and various other readings. It's a cool bit of performance data for the nerdy types out there, and it's stuff that's usually reserved for performance specials like the Nissan GTR, but hidden under a few menu options on the AMG S65, it works. The Mercedes AMG S65 can sit up to 5 passengers total. Features include AMG specific power sports seats with more lateral support and a memory function. There is a seat heating functionality, as well as 12-way power adjustability. Further features include an active multi-contour massage function for both front and rear passengers, as well as a ventilation function front and back. Even more comfort can be had with the executive rear seat feature, which will allow one lucky passenger in back the ability to recline his or her seat, and put his or her feet up with a power calf rest. The infotainment system on board is equally impressive, starting with the standard 3D sound system from Burmester. The infotainment system on board is equally impressive, starting with the standard 3D sound system from Burmester. There's also Bluetooth streaming capabilities, HD radio support, Sirius XM radio with a 6-month free trial, and the option to equip an onboard Wi-Fi hotspot. Extra ambience is added thanks to standard LED interior lighting, with incorporates roughly 300 individual LEDs to project 7 individual color options into multiple cabin zones. Sit in the rear, and you'll get power sun blinds, plus copious entertainment options thanks to multiple device inputs, DVD players, video game hookups, and more. And since everyone might want to enjoy their own entertainment without audio bleed over, there's also a set of wireless headphones for each passenger. On top of the AMG S65 is a standard panoramic roof, which looks to stretch between the front and rear sections of the car, enabling both sets of passengers to enjoy the extra sky. Dual power shades are also in place to provide appropriate control between the front and rear passengers, depending on their preference for either more or less light. Additionally, buyers can get the optional Magic Sky Control feature, which alters the moon roof transparency instantly using an electric current, thereby varying the light levels entering the cabin. Finishing it off is an optional refrigerator box for rear-seated passengers with a taste for some bubbly. On top of the AMG S65 is a standard panoramic roof, which looks to stretch between the front and rear sections of the car, enabling both sets of passengers to enjoy the extra sky. Further customization options are offered with the AMG Performance Studio. Delve into the catalog, and you'll have the options for black Nappa leather upholstery, a Dinamica-covered performance steering wheel, carbon fiber and piano lacquer trim, and a whole lot more. Interior Dimensions Note, figures given are for 2017 model year Mercedes AMG S65 sedan. Competing interiors. Audi S8 pictured on the left, BMW M760i X drive pictured on the right. Like its exterior, the Audi S8's a cabin has a refined, somewhat understated look to it. The control scheme is distilled down to a basic assortment of hard buttons and knobs, while a digital display behind the sporty, three-spoke, multifunction steering wheel relays vital info to the driver. 
Aluminum shift paddles are mounted at the sides. Carbon fiber trim, wood inlays, and brushed metal are all quite abundant, and like the Merc, there's an analog clock front and center in the dash. The seats offer attractive contrast stitching, plus 22-way power adjustability, ventilation, and massage features. Four-zone climate control keeps everyone comfy, and further customization can be had with the optional Audi design selection package. Standard spec includes MMI navigation with a Wi-Fi hotspot, as well as a 14-speaker, 630-watt audio system from Bose. The Bimmer is also rather well-equipped, but arrives with a bit more style than the Audi. The console is broken up into multiple layers thanks to a wider selection of colors for the various pieces of trim, upholstery, and console inlays, with leather, wood, and brushed metal all making their immediate presence known. The three-spoke steering wheel gets thumb-length multifunction controls, but drivers can also issue commands via the gesture control feature offered with the iDrive 6.0 infotainment platform. Touch displays are also onboard, both up front and in the rear. Go for the rear executive lounge seating package, and rear-seated passengers will enjoy enhanced comfort thanks to a power calf rest, massage seats, and more. Rear-facing screens are in place for work and play, and a LED-studded glass panoramic moon roof above floods the cabin with the right level of lighting every time. Sixteen speakers from Bowers & Wilkins provide the tunes, while all three sedans are positively dripping with luxury and opulence, I keep coming back to the Mercedes as the most stylish and best-looking piece of design, while all three sedans are positively dripping with luxury and opulence, I keep coming back to the Mercedes as the most stylish and best-looking piece of design. While high-tech, it's also classy and cultured in an old-school kind of way, which is exactly what you want in this segment, new technology, mixed with classic refinement, stirred to an even blend, interior dimensions, drivetrain, pop the hood on the AMG S65, and the first thing you'll see is an enormous engine cover filling the bay. This piece is handsome enough, made from carbon fiber, etched with the obligatory AMG badging, and offering a fair amount of under-hood bling, but the real story is what lies beneath the weave, where Mercedes has mounted a 6.0-liter V12 devourer of gasoline force fed by twin turbochargers. This handcrafted power plant is an absolute peach, and one of the last remaining 12-cylinder engines available in the States, which in itself is one of the major selling points for the AMG S65. This handcrafted power plant is an absolute peach, and one of the last remaining 12-cylinder engines available in the States, which in itself is one of the major selling points for the AMG S65. Standout features include a die-cast alloy construction for the block in the heads, plus a liquid-to-air intercooler, a variable pressure fuel pump, a rapid spark ignition system, high-speed engine management, and an AMG-specific exhaust. Boost pressure from the double dose of snails is rated at 22 psi, but that's the same setup you get with last year's model, and as such, the output goes unchanged, with around 630 horsepower produced at 4,800 revolutions per minute and 1,000 newton meters torque, 738 pound feet of torque, produced at 2,300 revolutions per minute. Mercedes quotes a 4.2 second sprint from 0 to 60 miles per hour, but if we were to take a guess, the time is more likely around 3. 3.8 seconds. The top speed is electronically limited at 250 km per hour, 155 miles per hour, but if you decide to equip the AMG driver's package, that figure will rise to an impressive 300 km per hour, 186 miles per hour. Mercedes quotes a 4.2 second sprint from 0 to 60 miles per hour, but if we were to take a guess, the time is more likely around 3.8 seconds. Speaking in more flowery language, Mercedes says the S65's V12 engine renders a feeling of power that seems at once infinitely mighty and absolutely effortless. Sounds like fun, max fuel capacity is rated at 24.6 gallons. Although a V12-powered luxury yacht probably isn't the first thing that pops into your mind when considering a car with green sensibilities, the S65 is equipped with an eco mode, plus a standard start-stop feature to help trim a bit of the excess gas consumption from the sides. Here in the US, the current S65 is rated at 13 mpg in the city and 22 mpg on the highway, while those on the old continent rate it at a combined 11.9 liters per 100 kilometers. CO2 emissions are rated at 279 grams per kilometer, unlike the S63, which is offered with AWD, the S65 comes exclusively with RWD. 
The transmission for the 2018 model year is as it was before, with an AMG-tuned Speedshift 7 G-Tronic Plus 7-speed automatic. Taking control of the box are steering wheel paddle shifters, offering a more hands-on feel if required thanks to a manual M shifting mode activated when the right button is pushed. Taking control of the 7-speed automatic gearbox are steering wheel paddle shifters, offering a more hands-on feel thanks to a manual M shifting mode activated when the right button is pushed. Further driving modes alter the character of the rest of the car, making it easy to tailor your experience to whatever the situation might be. There's Comfort, Sport, Sport Plus, and Individual, each of which affects things like the engine response, transmission shift points, suspension system, steering response, and electronic stability. You can also manually set up the suspension settings if desired, and if you hit the AMG button, special noise flaps in the exhaust will open up to let the world hear those 12 cylinders with a bit more clarity. Hit the AMG button, and special noise flaps in the exhaust will open up to let the world hear those 12 cylinders with a bit more clarity. Let's look at those separate driving modes a little more closely. Put the S65 into comfort mode, and you'll be enjoying long cruises and low -er fuel consumption, with minimal rev shift points, a muffled exhaust note, and less obtrusive gear changes. Then there's Sport and Sport Plus, which do exactly what you'd expect to make maximum fun time behind the wheel. That means sharper throttle response, more engaging gear shifts, faster shift times, rev matching on the downshifts, and, in Sport Plus mode, a higher idle speed designed to produce quicker launches. Engine and Performance Competing Drivetrains Audi S8 pictured on the left, BMW M760i X drive pictured on the right. Mounted behind that large single frame grille on the Audi is an all aluminum turbocharged 4.0 liter V8 engine with dual overhead cams, 32 valves, and cylinder deactivation technology. Output is rated at 605 horsepower at 6,100 revolutions per minute and 517 pound feet of torque at 1,750 revolutions per minute. Routed through the standard 8-speed Tiptronic automatic transmission and Quattro AWD system complete with standard sport differential, the Audi S8 can manage a sprint from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 3.7 seconds. Top speed is limited at 155 miles per hour, but can be raised to 190 miles per hour upon request. Fuel returns look like 15 mpg in the city and 25 mpg on the highway. Meanwhile, the Bimmer arrives at this fight with the right number of cylinders, packing a 6.6-liter V12 with a double dose of turbocharged induction. Standout features include an automatic start-stop function, brake energy regeneration, 48 valves, variable valve control, and direct fuel injection. Lay into the loud pedal, and you'll be rewarded with 601 horsepower at 5,500 revolutions per minute, as well as 590 pound-feet of torque at 1,550 revolutions per minute. Mated to the 12-cylinder engine is a standard 8-speed Steptronic Sport Automatic Transmission, plus BMW's X-Drive AWD system. Flat out, the BMW will hit 60 miles per hour in 3.6 seconds, while heading to an electronically limited top speed of 155 miles per hour. Efficiency is rated at 12 mpg in the city and 20 mpg on the highway. When buying a vehicle in this segment, it's important to have the appropriate equipment on board, and in the engine department, more cylinders means more better. That's why you've gotta go with a 12-cylinder. When buying a vehicle in this segment, it's important to have the appropriate equipment on board, and in the engine department, more cylinders means more better. That's why you've gotta go with a 12-cylinder, but which one? The Merc is slightly more powerful than the BMW, but when considering the rest of the drivetrain, including the standard AWD system equipped on the M760i, the Merc looks like it's falling behind. Throw in a faster 0 to 60 mph sprint, and suddenly, the Bimmer sprints ahead in the performance department. Engine and performance. Chassis and handling. AMG is typically known for producing hugely powerful, hugely fast cars capable of setting some blistering times at the racetrack. Clearly, with over 600 horsepower and a low 4-second, high 3-second 0 to 60 mph time, those first two criteria are satisfied in the S65. But what about lap times? 
Could a massive boat like this full-size sedan actually turn as well as it goes? AMG certainly gave it the right equipment to do exactly that. First off the S65 looks to save weight wherever possible. For example, the battery is a lithium-ion unit, which is lighter than a traditional lead-acid battery. The wheels are made from forged lightweight materials, while the AMG-branded brakes were weight-optimized to shave some weight. The body is made from aluminum, including the roof and front fascia, while the spare wheel recess is made from carbon fiber. The S65 still tips the scales at a crushing 2.5 tons, or 4,969 pounds. Despite these weight-saving techniques, the S65 still tips the scales at a crushing 2.5 tons, or 4,969 pounds, which makes the 4 kg pounds trimmed by that carbon spare wheel recess kinda laughable, if I'm honest. Still, Mercedes has plenty of experience making absurdly heavy vehicles handle surprisingly well, hell, AMG's experience in the SUV segment is evidence enough of that. So how can a two-and-a-half-ton luxury sedan harness over 600 horses at the rear wheels? Five words, magic body control and curb tilting. So how can a two-and-a-half-ton luxury sedan harness over 600 horses at the rear wheels? Five words, magic body control and curb tilting. Let's start with those first three words, as they're a good lead-in for the last two. The Magic Body Control System is essentially an independent, active suspension that compensates for roll, squat, and dive characteristics, you know, the sort of things that happen when accelerating, cornering, and braking with any kind of vigor. The system incorporates active springs and continuously adjustable dampers, which isn't that unusual for a leading entry in this segment. What makes the Mercedes system stand out is a system called Road Surface Scan, which is a feature that uses a front-facing camera to actively examine the road surface ahead of the car and anticipate road aberrations, followed by adjustments to the suspension settings to dampen whatever bumps or misalignments or potholes might be looming. These adjustments are done down to individual settings for each corner of the car, automatically increasing comfort and stability as a result. The system will also adapt to the individual driving mode selected, with both increased handling feel and increased comfort added. Road Surface Scan actively examines the road surface ahead of the car and anticipate road aberrations, adjusting suspension settings to compensate. Let's move on to those last two words, curve tilting. Curve tilting is another interesting feature of the S65, and it's essentially an active suspension setting that comes online between 15 km per hour and 180 km per hour, 112 miles per hour. When traveling within that speed range, curve tilting will literally tilt the car left or right by up to 2.65 degrees, compensating for the normal body roll experienced during cornering to help reduce the, the perceived lateral forces, thus making for a more comfortable ride. Mercedes likens the system to the lean of a motorcycle rider, and contends the system enhances the driving fun in particular on secondary roads. Of course, if leaning into the corners sounds like it would be more nausea-inducing than fun-enhancing, the curve tilting function can be deactivated. Mercedes likens the curve tilting system to the lean of a motorcycle rider, and contends the system enhances the driving fun in particular on secondary roads. Further adjustability can be had with the ride height, which can be raised by 40 mm inches, to help the S65 make it over speed bumps or up steeply angled driveways without scratching the bumper or undercarriage. Alternatively, the ride height can also be dropped by 15 mm inches when traveling at speed, reducing aerodynamic drag and enhancing handling characteristics. The steering system is an electro-mechanical speed-sensitive sport setup with a variable ratio. The rack and pinion was specifically tuned by AMG, and was designed to offer solid feedback, not something you'd expect in a car as large and in charge as the S65. The steering also offers variable levels of assist between the separate driving modes, or, alternatively, drivers can tune the setup using the individual mode for more exact specifications. Basically, what you get is greater assist at lower speeds, or more stability at higher speeds. The steering also offers variable levels of assist between the separate driving modes, or, alternatively, drivers can tune the setup using the individual mode for more exact specifications. As you might expect, the brakes on this beast are appropriately stout and advanced. 
Features include predictive braking, which will move the brake pads a little closer to the rotor after a quick throttle lift is detected, basically anticipating potentially hard braking to follow. There's also automatic brake dry, which lightly applies the brake pad against the rotor when it's raining to sweep the rotor face dry, making for more consistent braking in the wet. Specs on the actual brake components include compound rotors sized at 390 mm by 36 mm, 15.4 inches by 1.4 inches, and squeezed by fixed aluminum six piston calipers up front. In back, there are 360 mm by 24 mm, 14.2 inch by 0.9 inch rotors with a single piston floating caliper. Specs on the brakes components include front rotors sized at 15.4 inches by 1.4 inches, squeezed by fixed aluminum six piston calipers. Options include high performance ceramic rotors, as well. Options include the usual ceramic high performance brakes, as branded by AMG. Compared to the normal brake rotors, the AMG ceramic units cut down on unsprung weight by as much as 20%, which Merck says helps with the way the car handles and the ride quality. The ceramic compound also provides a longer service life, higher corrosion resistance and higher thermal stability. That bit about higher thermal stability makes sense, these are race-bred brake rotors we're talking about, after all. However, it's kinda of funny to see such hardcore performance gear touted as a long-term reliability feature. Anyway, if you do decide to get the AMG ceramic brakes, the front axle will swap the old units in favor of larger 420mm by 40mm rotors, while the rear will get slightly thicker 360mm by 32mm rotors. Additionally, the new brakes add just a hint of extra style as well, with AMG carbon ceramic neatly printed on the freshly finished brake calipers. Showy, but kinda cool nonetheless. So how about the driver's aids? Standard spec throws on electronic stability, which isn't altogether surprising. However, per usual, the S65 does it better with three individual settings that affect the way the car handles when pushing the limits of adhesion. Multiple settings for the ESP make it easier to tune your setup to the situation and skill level that's most appropriate. These multiple ESP modes include ESP on for safety, as well as ESP sport handling mode for additional yaw allowed before it kicks in and overrides the fun. Or there's always the alternative to go full ESP off for all-out track driving. Either way, the ESP will kick back on temporarily when performing hard braking maneuvers. Finally, the tires are measured at 255 40ths R20 in front and 285 35ths R20 in the rear, and incorporate a high-performance rated rubber compound. Competing chassis and handling Audi S8 pictured on the left, BMW M760i X-Drive pictured on the right. Audi and BMW both are also in on the game of making enormous cars handle decently. The Audi starts this with lightweight ASF aluminum construction for the body, with the curb weight down to a relatively low, at least compared to the Merck and BMW, 4,685 pounds. Managing all that heft is a 5-link suspension setup in front and a trapezoidal link setup in the rear, plus Audi's adaptive air suspension components tuned specifically for the S8's a performance potential. The steering is an electromechanical power setup with dynamic feedback, while the brakes use 15.7-inch ventilated discs in front and 14-inch ventilated discs in back. The S8 also gets a standard sport differential, which helps the rear biased AWD system handle with a sprightlier attitude. Managing it all is the Audi Drive Select system, which delivers variable settings for the steering, suspension, throttle response, transmission shift points, and sport differential, all of which can be customized to your preferences and given driving scenario. By comparison, the BMW is a bit portlier, weighing in at 5,128 pounds, despite its carbon core construction incorporating carbon fiber reinforced plastic, aluminum, and magnesium structural pieces. The suspension is a double wishbone multi-link setup in front and an integral V multi-link setup in back. Aluminum is used throughout. 
There's a dynamic damper control system, dynamic stability control, brake fade compensation, and double axle self-leveling air components, while the driving dynamics control offers drive modes for eco-cruising, track driving, and several stops in between. Like the Mercedes, the BMW will also actively scan the road ahead and compensate for road aberrations through the adjustable dampers, roll stabilization, and more. So which of these cars is the right choice for the enthusiast drivers out there? Performance cues are everywhere no matter which option you go for, but when it comes to having the most fun behind the wheel, AMG has done its homework. So which of these cars is the right choice for the enthusiast drivers out there? Performance cues are everywhere no matter which option you go for, but when it comes to having the most fun behind the wheel, AMG has done its homework. The available and standard features both offer more of that high-octane fun compared to the Audi and BMW, and although it's unlikely you'll see this behemoth at a track day, the Merc is the one to get if a high smile per mile factor is required on the weekends, safety and convenience, the AMG S65 certainly isn't lacking when it comes to technology, and that extends past basic infotainment and performance and into the realm of safety and convenience, starting things off as a standard attention assist system, which will issue both visual and audible warnings in the event the driver might be getting tired. There's also a radar active cruise control system that will automatically speed up, stop, and slow the car based on what's happening with the vehicle ahead. This system also automatically keeps the car between the lanes with steering assist, and it will automatically resume normal driving if the previous stop time is under a second, such as in heavy stop and go traffic, then there are adaptive LED headlights that'll point themselves around a corner, which is particularly helpful when navigating winding two lanes at night. The lights will also switch to low beam when oncoming traffic is detected to keep from dazzling other drivers. LEDs are also used for the daytime running lights and taillights, making for a strong lighting signature no matter what time of day it is, there are adaptive LED headlights that'll point themselves around a corner, and switch to low beam when oncoming traffic is detected to keep from dazzling other drivers. LEDs are also used for the daytime running lights and taillights, making for a strong lighting signature no matter what time of day it is. Further features include crosswind assist, an active blind spot monitor, cross traffic alert, night view assist plus essentially an infrared camera and thermal imaging system that'll process the view ahead and project it onto the central screen, even on a moonless night, parking assist with ultrasonic sensors, a surround view top-down parking assist, and smart key entry. There's also Magic Vision Control, which incorporates the windshield wiper fluid spray nozzles directly into the wiper blade, thus preventing overspray and vision blurring. Finally, the S65 uses aluminum and steel in its construction, and comes complete with a full range of standard airbags. As for crash ratings, both the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration NHTSA and Insurance Institute for Highway Safety IIHS have yet to evaluate the AMG S65, competing safety and convenience. When it comes to keeping its passengers safe, the Audi starts with all the usual features, such as a complete airbag system, electronic aids, and electromechanical parking brake. Added to this is helpful tech like Parking System Plus, which gets a top-down and corner view camera system to help maneuver the four-door in and out of tight spots. There's also Audi Pre-Sense Plus, Audi Side Assist, and Audi Adaptive Cruise Control, all of which keep you cruising in comfort and away from danger. A heads-up display relays further info above the gauge cluster, while a night vision assistant projects an infrared and thermal imaging red out of the road ahead for enhanced after-hours driving, the Bimmer is equally well-equipped, arriving on the scene with custom settings for the advanced vehicle and key memory, climate control, mirror position, seat settings, etc., rain-sensing windshield wipers, parking assist, park distance control, both front and rear, and more. There are also active front headrests, programmable LED daytime running lights, and other standard safety features. Forced to choose just one of these rides as the ultimate winner in high-tech safety and convenience features, I'd have to go with the Mercedes. When it comes to choosing one of these rides for its high-tech safety and convenience features, it looks like Audi and Mercedes offer a bit more than the BMW, and forced to choose just one as the ultimate winner in this area, I'd have to go with the ultra-modern Mercedes. You could write a book about the S65's various features, and while it's debatable how many will actually see use, it's nice to know they're there, prices.
Mercedes has yet to announce exact pricing for the updated AMG S65, but it's expected to be roughly the same as the preceding model year, which starts at $226,900. Available packages include the Executive Rear Seat Package Plus, which adds in such features as dual power rear seats, folding tables, and heated and cooled rear cup holders, or the Embrace Bundle, which includes concierge and entertainment services, or finally, the Embrace Secure Package, which adds features like an automatic alarm notification, collision notification, SOS emergency call, stolen vehicle tracker, and more. The competition's prices. Audi S8, pictured on the left, BMW M760 iX Drive pictured on the right. The Audi S8 starts at $115,900, and is offered with a variety of different packages, including the cold weather pack, heated steering wheel, heated rear seats, rear set pass-through for $750, the driver assistance pack, active lane assist, adaptive cruise control, Audi Pre-Sense Plus for $2,100, the dynamic pack, carbon fiber lip spoiler, front and rear ceramic brakes, higher top speed, sport exhaust for $11,000, night vision assistant thermal imaging and infrared camera feed for the onboard display for $2,300, and a whole lot more. Meanwhile, you can get into the BMW M760 iX Drive for $156,700, with add-ons including the Driving Assistance Plus Package, Traffic Jam Assistance, Active Lane Keeping Assistant, Active Cruise Control, etc. For $1,700, the BMW Individual Composition Pack, Upgraded and Customized Interior Upholstery and Trim, for $5,600, and the Rear Executive Lounge Seating Package, Multi-Adjustable Rear Seats, 7.0-inch rear command tablet, active ventilation, upgraded rear entertainment, etc. for $5,750. Further options include a night vision with pedestrian detection feature for $2,300, remote control parking for $550, and more. A few more alternatives. We thought we'd toss in a few more options in this segment, just to see what sticks. While not quite as premium as the German entries listed above, the following two sedans still have lots to offer. Lexus LS 500 If you prefer your land yacht with Japanese rather than Euro routes, you've gotta check out the Lexus LS 500. The nameplate has been around since 1989, offering the very best that the brand can muster when it comes to luxury and technology. Lexus just introduced the 5th gen model at the 2017 Detroit Auto Show, unveiling a new architecture, upgraded turbo V6 powerplant, 10-speed automatic gearbox, and a whole lot of gadgets and gizmos in the cabin. The interior in particular is worth a look, bearing traditional Japanese craftsmanship techniques that stand out next to the somewhat stolid European competitors. Expect a much lower price tag too, starting at around $80,000. Read the full review here. Jaguar XJ First put into production way back in 1968, the XJ is a mainstay of the Jaguar brand, proudly flying the cat badge as Jag's flagship sedan since 1970. The current X351 model was unveiled in 2009, bearing exquisite exterior styling by famed British designer Ian Callum, a solid powerplant selection headed by a 5.0-liter supercharged V8, and both LWB and SWB iterations. Look for classic British luxury inside, with leather, touchscreens, and copious wood trim on the feature list. Pricing starts at $74,400. Read the full review here. Conclusion The S65 is an outrageous automobile. It's large, lively, and over-the-top in just about every single way. The luxury on hand is some of the most opulent you can get this side of a Maybach badge, while the turbocharged engine produces silly amounts of power while singing an intoxicating 12-cylinder song. And starting at around a quarter million bucks, it's also absurdly expensive. And that's the real kicker here. Why spend so much when you can get a BMW M760 iX Drive and a Jaguar XJ for the same amount of money? Is the S65 really that much better? Why spend so much when you can get a BMW M760 iX Drive and a Jaguar XJ for the same amount of money? Is the S65 really that much better? On paper, no. 
The S65 has the same options, the same technology, the same speed, and the same luxury specs. So how does Mercedes justify that price tag, especially when you can get the V8-powered AMG S63, a car that's actually faster, by the way, for about 80 grand less? What it really comes down to is this, the S65 is the Mercedes flagship. This is the tip of the spear, as it were, the snowy peak of Merck Mountain. This vehicle is a statement. And sometimes, making a statement is more important than saving money. Love it V12 power. Huge in every way, huge speed, huge dimensions, huge opulence a true land-based luxury liner. Leave it eye-wateringly expensive same features offered elsewhere for less money do you really need all that performance gear in this segment? If you liked this video, please share your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to hit the subscribe button.